An iconic Philadelphia event is coming up this weekend. The Broad Street Run attracts thousands of runners and enthusiastic spectators. Part of the proceeds go to cancer research and patients. Mm -hmm. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl has one runner's story of determination. Are you ready, Eve? I'm ready, I think. Eve English and some of her team are getting ready for the Broad Street Run. Oh, how are you feeling? On any given day, it's a question of whether my legs remember how to run. For Eve, a lifelong runner, the 10-miler is special because she's had two battles with breast cancer. My chemo last year, I couldn't move. She's better now and has dyed her hair purple, the color for cancer survivors. Is this going to be your outfit for Broad Street? It is. Along this is with what the, you're going to wear? I'm going to wear a tutu with all the different ribbons. I'll do probably a run walk. Um, I'm having a lot of difficulty getting back into running. I have uh, neuropathy in my feet and my legs. When Eve and the 40,000 others in the Broad Street Run cross the finish line here inside the Navy Yard, they'll be helping to raise half a million dollars for the American Cancer Society. It stays right here local. Michael Brady with the American Cancer Society says the money will go toward things like lodging for cancer patients and families or providing free free rides to and from treatment. We have 500 participants who commit to fundraising for the American Cancer Society and that, that money goes towards our mission. Eve's team called Low and Slow has raised over $20,000 for the Cancer Society. It's her way of giving back. I benefited from all of the various ways that the American Cancer Society put their efforts in there and it's not just the research but there's just so many different programs that are available to cancer patients and their and their caregivers. And I think it's just fantastic. For Broad Street, Eve says it gets tough around mile seven, but just like the battle against cancer, she says it's all about determination and hope. I'm Stephanie Stahl, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. We wish her and all the runners mm -hmm. the best of luck. And for those just planning to watch the Broad Street run, that would be me. Be sure to head to CBSPhilly.com for our useful spectator guide. There you'll find tips on the best spots to cheer on the runners, other important information about the annual event.